uh, actually St. Louis. And, um, you know, I felt it, I heard it. And then when we went to Ferguson, we were in embrace, and I got the chance to meet, you know, of course, Kerry Ball's father, mother, and family, extended family. And um, this is just clear evidence that these are not isolated situations. This is systemic, and it's happening all over this country. And this pain that we have experienced is not just happening here, as we all that are here today know. So I definitely want to share, Sarah to share a few words with you about her loved one that has also suffered the same pain that we experienced. Uh, thank you, peace and love, everybody. Um, as Uncle Bobby was saying, uh, when my cousin Carrie Ball Jr. was killed in 2013 by St. Louis police, after surrendering with his hands in the air, he was shot a total of 21 times. This was in April. Um, I'm actually from Oakland, California, so I come home every year. The first family that we wanted to reach out to was Oscar Grant's family as far as um, a direction to go. What people need to understand is we are part of a club that no one asked to be a part of, and we need to come together as the families. We need unity. And so when something like this happens, you don't know what to do. So when I flew out here, um, I spoke with um, Oscar's uncle, his mother, um, and his aunt, and they were very helpful and instrumental into what our next step would be in fighting for my cousin's justice. We are currently still in St. Louis, the Ferguson area, fighting a lot of different cases. Um, police brutality is very rampant in Ferguson, St. Louis. So this is not an isolated incident. I also have on this here my niece, Keila Eberhardt, who was murdered this year um, in May. And then I also have King Darren Seals, who was assassinated by Ferguson police. He's the sixth person out of the Ferguson community um, who was shot in his car and then burned. So I want people to understand that they, we are being watched, and they watch how we move. They watch when we get stronger. That's when they try to um, infiltrate us, if you will. So I just want to express to everyone unity and how we need to keep standing together. Um, it's not a black or white thing, I feel personally, because in Carrie's case, one officer was black and one officer was white. So I feel it's a code of the blue. And I think people need to understand that as well. So I just want to say um, thank you to Oscar Grant's entire family for welcoming me. Thank you for letting me stand up here and share Carrie's story. You can Google his name, Carrie Ball Jr. He was murdered April 24, 2013. And I just want to say peace and love to all you people out here. And let's keep fighting. Woo! <laughs>